Are you looking for a little bit more space to carry some cargo on the front of your Polaris Ranger? Well, Super ATV has you covered with our front rack, and today we're gonna to show you how to get one installed. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and remove the front two bolts on both sides that connect your cage to the frame of the machine. And then you'll just wanna go ahead and discard these bolts or set them aside. You will not be reusing them for this install. So we're working on the driver's side. So we grabbed our driver's side bracket. You can check it by laying it up here on the cage. Once we've confirmed this is the correct side, you wanna make sure that you grab the new M10 bolts out of the kit, as well as the two spacers. And we are gonna be reutilizing the factory nut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our bolts through our bracket. And then take your spacer, and slide one on each bolt like this. And what we'll do is we'll just slide it through the cage, just like the factory bolts are sitting. So one of my nuts stayed in here, which is honestly the best situation. If your nut stays in there, you don't have to hold it in place. It'll just kind of be right there for you. So we'll just want to get that one good and started. And we'll come up here to our upper bolt get the nut slid in. And you're probably aware since you already removed them, but if you're not, these nuts are actually cut out to fit in the frame perfectly. So you'll just wanna kinda hold it there to get it started. And then if you're using a ratchet or impact, whatever you prefer, either is fine, you'll just go ahead and fully tighten them. So I'm just gonna hold them. Get it fully tightened. And then we'll just repeat the same steps for the opposite side. Now we're gonna install our front rack to the machine. Just gonna lay it up in position. Get it kind of centered up, figure out where you want it. I like to kind of set mine up to where it's just barely hanging over and that it's perfectly straight. In the kit, you're gonna notice that you have four Allen screws as well as four nylock nuts and four flat washers. So now, we're just gonna take our flat washer, slide it on our hardware here, and I'm just gonna get all my hardware started. We're not gonna fully tighten anything just yet because we're probably gonna have to make some adjustments. Once we have all our hardware started, we can get it adjusted. I'm just gonna run mine all the way out on the adjustment so as far as it'll go forward, and then just try to get it centered up as far as your left to right adjustment. We're just gonna kinda eyeball it here. If you wanna get absolutely perfect, you can obviously take some measurements, but we can get it pretty close just by looking at it, looking at the body lines, looking at the cage. And right there, that looks pretty good for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and fully tighten my hardware. It's gonna be a five mil Allen and then a 13 millimeter nut. So once you've fully tightened all your hardware, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's front rack on this Polaris Ranger 1000. To pick your front rack up, be sure to check the description for a link. While you're there, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.